Yo mga kapusa! Today we are gonna be looking at this cheap capture card from Lazada. I actually bought two of these as I thought the first one I got is defective. It turns out that it was just a hardware limitation. This is an HDMI video capture card with loop and I bought this at Lazada for 600 pesos ship. Here's what's in the box. We have the device itself. It came in with two cables. One is a USB mail to mail adapter. And the next cable is the DC 5 volts. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the HDMI cables. And for this to work, you will need two pieces, one for the input and one for the output. So first we have to power the device with the DC 5 volt adapter. And the next we will need to connect the input source. My input source for this video is gonna be that PC. Next, we will need the output HDMI that connects to the display. Now you can see the monitor displaying my desktop. And the last step is to connect the USB mail to mail from this device to my streaming or recording PC. In this case, this laptop. I will show you how to set this up step by step in OBS. So we need to add a video capture device. I will be naming it HDMI capture card. Then I just need to select the source device which is the USB video. Upon selecting, you can see that the game I'm gonna be recording is already showing. The next step is to configure the audio. There are two ways to configure the audio. One is to set the audio output mode to use a custom audio device. Then we will need to select the USB digital audio interface and that should be done. You can see that it is already playing the sound from the source PC. If in case that you are not hearing sounds, then you need to go to the sound settings, right click, go to recording, right click on the USB digital audio, properties, go to the listen tab, then check listen to this device. Press apply and then OK. And we're done. There is another way to capture the sound from the input source. We need to add an audio input capture. I'm gonna be naming it HDMI capture card sound. Then we just need to select this USB digital audio as the source. It should work fine now if you already set up the sound to listen. And that's it for setting up the video and the sound. Here is a sample video recording of League of Legends from the first PC. Troubleshooting 
This card did come with a lot of problems and here are some of the problems I have encountered and how I was able to solve them. Are we recording? So number one problem that I have encountered is the garbled image. You can see this type of footage from OBS and this is caused by a uh, hardware limitation. So uh, the capture card specified that we are only able to record up to 60 FPS. <clears throat> so if your video card uh, video card's refresh rate is set to more than 60 Hz, then you will be getting this footage. So to solve this, simply stick to 60 FPS. Uh, set your display resolution to 60 FPS. Okay, the next problem I encountered is the card being unable to be read by OBS. So I was able to solve this by doing the prepared sequence which is my installation guide. So just go back to the start and do the installation guide from step 1 to 4. Lastly, it's the sound. Uh, after having done everything correctly and you're still not able to hear any sound, then simply try to reconnect all the cables and make sure that uh, you are setting it up in your recording, uh, I mean the device that's gonna be using OBS. Okay? <laughs> and that's all for this capture card guys review. Uh, it's Christmas season and I'm still not able to hit 500 subs. So if you are new to the channel and I somehow help you with this video card problem, uh, video card, video capture card problem, then please consider subscribing as my Christmas gift. <laughs> and also hit the like and dislike. It doesn't matter. It helps the algorithm. It helps the channel. It helps the channel a lot. Also, do comment for questions. I'll be willing to answer most of them. So that's it for this video, guys. See you again on the next one. Peace.